Excellent that you're here, yeah? because this is the type of question you can expect when we're talking about combinations of transformations. Yeah? That they have a particular image A, and then they will ask you which combination of transformations maps image A onto A apostrophe. Okay, so it was first A, after a combination of transformations, it is A apostrophe. All right, now, you can only answer these questions if you have a solid understanding of transformations. Yeah? You know reflections, you know rotations, you know translations, and you know enlargements. Okay, now let's just single out, uh, let's say, a transformation that it's not going to be. All right, so for instance, an enlargement is not going to be part of any uh, one of the transformations because it is still exactly the same size. It hasn't been enlarged or reduced in size, it's still exactly the same. Yeah, so we don't have to bother about enlargements. Yeah, so we have left reflections, rotations, and translations. Okay, now let's see if there is some sort of rotation going on. So I'll just very quickly um, to show you trace my initial figure. A on a piece of tracing paper. Oh, there we go. And I have to really press it hard to do that properly. There we go. Yeah. And if I would just decide upon a particular center of rotation, I'm just going to use my finger, I can't find my pen, for instance, here. I just want to show you. If I start rotating it, well, as you can see, this length. Yeah, is now on the right side, while here it's on the left side. So a rotation in any form, and let's say the center is there, is also ruled out. Yeah, it's also ruled out. Okay, so I have left a reflection and I have left a translation. Yeah, and as you can see, there has been going on some sort of reflection because that point now is there at the bottom. So is that a reflection with a vertical mirror line? No, it's going to be a reflection with a horizontal mirror line. Okay, now let's see what is possible, yeah, because usually, yeah, you talk about, we're talking about reflection or lines of reflection. It, is, yeah, it could be, for instance, uh, this line, yeah, it could be that line, it could be that line. Uh, let me just take this one. Yeah, if that would be my mirror line, yeah, but maybe you have decided upon another one that's also possible. There are more answers possible, yeah? But if that would be a reflection, so I'm gonna say, first of all, a reflection, yeah? And then you also gotta give the, the line of reflection, and that equation of the line is y equals one, okay? Now let me just reflect it. So that point will be there, that point will be there, and that point will be to over there, yeah? And as you can see, after that reflection in the mirror line, uh, or horizontal mirror line, my figure has been flipped. Now, there are more mirror lines you could have chosen, yeah? For instance, you could have chosen the x-axis, yeah? Or this one, or that one, um, more possibilities. But I've chosen this one, yeah? And then, I know it's not gonna be a rotation, I know it's not gonna be an enlargement, so what is left? Well, either another reflection, but I've never seen that before. So there's gonna be a translation, yeah? So first a reflection, then a translation. But you're not gonna say just a translation. You have gotta give the column vector of the translation. So what maps this one on that one, yeah? Now let's do that point by point. So I will identify two corresponding points. So it goes one, two, three to the left, so minus three, and then two down, minus two. So that would be the column vector. And I'm always checking my work, yeah? So let's say that point and that point. So one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, indeed, it's on the same point. Just to be sure of that one, one, sorry, one, two, three, and one, two, indeed, maps that point on its corresponding point in A apostrophe. Okay, so the combination of transformations, in this case, first a reflection, the mirror line y equals one, followed by a translation with a column vector of minus three, minus two. How do you approach these questions? You kind of look, well, which type of transformation for sure is not happening? Just use your common sense. Eh? There are only four to choose from, a reflection, 
um, a translation, a rotation, an enlargement, yeah? and then you look for possible combinations. Yeah, in this case, reflection followed by a translation. Okay, transformations and matrices. That's the last part of this topic, and I will see you at the next video.